pencil wrench, how does it work? Firstly, let's just say the technician replaced a high pressure fuel pump and he's going to write that story, right? He just searches for his component. He pulls it up here from the list. And now we're going to present that technician with the initial verification of the repair. In this case, we, hey, let's say we verified the customer's concern, which was a no start, right? We want to document that the vehicle was actually pushed into the facility. And we're going to ask the technician here, do you want to document that the vehicle was actually towed in? In this case, we're going to say yes. Now we're going to check that VIP report, right? Did we find any TSBs, service bulletins, star cases, RRTs, RSUs, or recalls? In this particular case, we're going to say, hey, we did find a TSB related to this. We're going to make up a TSB number. Now that we're done with initial verification of repairs, we're going to hit next here. And now we're going to present that technician with the possible diagnostics. So in this case, hey, let's say we did a diagnostic scan and we pulled this code P0087, which has to do with fuel pressure low, right? Next thing we did is maybe, hey, we checked for some software updates, didn't find any related updates to this. So we're going to give the tech a quick no button here. Right. And now, you know, as we look through our diagnostics, let's just say in this case, it's pretty simple. We're going to do a visual inspection on that fuel quantity solenoid. Right. And and what were our findings there? Let's just say the screen was plugged with metal contamination. So uh, at this point, we're going to scroll down and hey, you know, maybe we want to talk to star and we document a star case. And maybe we, you know, we want to document the the consultant's name right now we're done with our diagnostics we're going to hit next here and now we're going to present our technician with the possible failures so in this particular case let's say hey the pump was binding internally and we got some foreign contamination once we're done with our failures we hit next now we're going to present that technician with the possible repairs for this high pressure fuel pump and let's just choose this first one what what components did we remove to access that pump? Let's just say the engine cover. And as you can see, we give that technician the ability to document as many components as he needs to access that pump. Also, we give him this plus button in case there's even more components removed. So in this particular case, I'm just going to hit the minus button. We're just going to say we took off the engine cover. And now we're going to document replacement of the pump, which is always the second choice down. We're going to click on that and we're going to replace the pump. But we're, we know there's also other items in this particular component that could go bad. So we're going to ask the tech, hey, did you also have to replace, replace the injector rails? Let's just say, hey, yes, we did. We're going to document that. Did we have to replace the injector? Yes, we did. Did we have to replace the transfer pump? Again, yes, we did. Did we have to replace the fuel return lines? In this particular case, let's say no, we did not. Do we want to document installed new gaskets and non-reusable hardware? Yes. Did we want to document that we flushed out the fuel lines and fuel tanks? Yes. And do we want to document that we were installed? All the parts were removed in a reverse order. And let's just say yes. Here at the very bottom of this choice, you can see that we give that technician a warning in red. See policy for warranty coverage. Star contact and prior authorization may be required. So we remind that technician in red. Ask him to confirm that he knows that. And now let's say we're done with repairs. We're going to hit next here. And now we're going to present that technician with the final actions. In this case, hey, we cleared the fault codes, road tested the vehicle, maybe two miles, came in with 30,000, left with 30,002. And we want to document that the system is now operating as designed. Once we hit the finish button, you can see there's a very, very specific, clear, concise diagnostic and repair story for this high pressure fuel pump. There's no acronyms, no misspellings. And we make it super quick for the technician. Another feature of pencil wrench, let's hit right another here. Let's say the technician has a vehicle, maybe brand new vehicle with squealing brakes or something like that. And he needs to write a story where he found no problem. We give the technician this no problem found module, which enables him to write a no problem found story for literally every system in the vehicle, right? 
So another feature of Pencil Wrench is the maintenance, right? So we can click on the maintenance button and he'll find the dealer recommended separate maintenance here. And then down at the bottom, he will find if Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram required maintenance, right? So let's just jump into one of these here. Let's say we did a 20K. So we're going to just ask the tech which maintenance was it. Hit next here. And again, we want to make it super fast for the tech. So if he did the whole maintenance, he can click this all button. If the technician is not using a separate multi-point inspection, he can document his tire specs here. He can document his brake specs here. In this particular case, let's just say that he is using a separate multi-point inspection tool. So we're just going to hit next here and... Hey, we reset the tire pressures maybe to 36 pounds. We relearned the sensors, reset the maintenance indicator, installed a sticker, and road tested the vehicle. So, again, we're enabling that technician to write a really clear and concise maintenance story. Another feature of Pencil Wrench is the recalls, right? So, we're going to enable that technician to write recalls, customer satisfaction notifications, RRTs. And so you can see we have a large, very large uh, list of possible recalls. And again, we're just going to make it super quick for the technician to document everything he needs for those campaign type stories. And this, those are just some of the features with Pencil Wrench. Pencil Wrench, the right tool.